So I also wanted to bring another video, right? Two uploads in a row. Two uploads in a row, guys. So I wanted to talk about my experience with being a dishwasher at Cracker Bill, right? I might have three videos because I got some more ideas. But, you know, my experience with Cracker Bell as a dishwasher, out of anything, I, I chose to be a dishwasher. That was one of the worst things I think I've ever, I ever could do to myself. Like, I never would have expected my job to suck that bad. Like, and let me tell y'all why. The dish pit is something else. You can get left alone in a second, in a split second, um, especially if you like work as a teenager there and like you're trying to get the hours in, but at the same time you're in school, so you work on the weekends. Everybody is off on the weekends. You're gonna be left in that kitchen guaranteed alone by yourself. And you're gonna have to take care of all them dishes by yourself, bro, by yourself. And personally, the cracker where I was working working at, I live in I live in um, Atlanta, so yeah, it was and it was on the interstate, so it was constantly busy every single day. And right now I'm working at Chick Fil A, and I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I ain't gonna say no, I ain't gonna say too much. They might see this, but I just wanna let y'all know, bro. Cracker Barrel is not where it's at, man. Especially if you want to be a dishwasher. Um, a server is where it's at, okay? If you're gonna go to Cracker Bell, be a server, but you gotta be over 18. So if you're over 18, be a server. They make like a thousand to 2,000 a week off of just tips. Um, how do I know? Literally the ladies, I would see the ladies counting up the money back in our break room and they would have like have stacks of money. So um, back to like the dishwashing, like guys, there was one there was once a time and the only reason i had did this was simply because i was trying to get a job that could work with me while i was in school which i'm st I still am in school but i because i quit six months i just quit in april so to give y'all a standpoint of where i'm at as far as like i guess you could say like like where i am now like i've saved up pretty much a good amount of money working there which i was planning on to because anyways because you know i needed some money in my pocket but guys cracker bro is not where it's at um you will like i said you will be left alone um i remember one time the manager called me and he was like hey yo kev we need more people here uh do you think you could uh Maybe come in around six and work till closing. Uh, no, sir. I cannot work till closing at all. Um, I have school the next day. You know what I mean? So they're going to try to push. They're going to try to work the crap out of you. And they're going to try to push you to do. Now, of course, you have some chill managers who let you leave early if y'all doing really good. I remember it was this dude named Lincoln who I worked with. Me and him would work all the way to like freaking... Like sometimes just five o'clock and we had just checked in maybe around one. So we only worked like four hours. But the only reason we got to leave early is because we was busting our behinds, making sure that kitchen was clean and tidy. You know what I mean? Um, but it's not something that I would recommend, guys. I know I'm. it might sound like I'm making it sound slight. I actually have some video clips. I might implement them. I don't know. Probably not. Or maybe. But guys the freaking dish pit is not where it's at with any place i don't think because i've i've read stuff on freaking longhorn steakhouse i've read stuff on applebee's the dish pit just ain't where it's at y'all it's not where it's at and um personally um i know an i remember another time um sorry guys this this is all um October. This is I started my job late October, and then I quit just as April. So my 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 memory is a little choppy of everything that happened and everything that went down. But guys, like it's not where it's at, y'all. Like 
do not, please do not put yourself through that hell. Like, if you're going to work at a fast food, just do ser be a server. I would say be a server, be a, hmm, be a, maybe a bagger. If, if they have a bagging or do something just that's not in the kitchen. Like, I don't know, be a maintenance person. Like, cause the maintenance guy, he was really chill. Me and him were cool. His name was Tristan. He was really cool. So that was our maintenance guy. And um, he told me, bro, when you turn 18, like you need to do maintenance. And I'm like, yeah, like I'm gonna be here for that long. Cause I wasn't planning on being there for too long. He told me that, but yeah, guys, like don't do the dishwashing pit. Don't do the dish pit, bro. It's not where it's at, like, and uh, like I said, like, I feel like, I feel like I low-key made the best out of that job. Because if I'm being honest with y'all, I say the good amount of money, like over a thousand something dollars being there at that Cracker Rail, like, it was a good experience. I'm, I'm not going to lie to y'all. It was a good experience. I met a lot of cool people. I, got, I had a lot of cool co-workers. It was this one dude who would get angry. <laughs> I remember that his name was David. He would get angry about the littlest things like, but he was quick, more like fast and efficient type worker. So he wasn't really like, he was like really chill though. And also for some odd reason, the car where I worked at, everybody smoked like, bro. Literally like everybody smoked weed, cigarettes are just straight up did crack. Like literally. Um. Oh, I mean, it's some crazy stories I got to tell y'all. I remember this one time I heard about this dude. This is how bad. This is just giving y'all some, some little details on how bad the dish pit was. Guys, there was this dude who I worked with. I remember him. He was from Chicago. Dude, well, I wasn't there that day, but my friend told me about it. Dude was so mad and was so like fed up with the dish pit that he literally sprayed the server when she asked him, can you please do spoons or something for me? He sprayed the server and made her, like got all her clothes wet, sprayed her hair, everything, and they fired him the same day. I remember, dude, it's funny, his name was like, well, I ain't gonna expose his name. He might see this and be like, oh, so that's what we doing? But yeah. Um, also, guys, like, as far as like, just make sure you cool with your coworkers with every job that y'all be at, that you be at because there was also this guy named I don't want to expose people to this. Let's just call him Terry. And Terry liked to he was very he rolled like he was like really soft and he let everybody talk to him however they wanted to. He was one of the managers there and like he didn't like me I guess because I didn't really run over him and I guess he liked to be ran over and abused like I don't and I know it sounds stupid but guys he let anybody else talk to him however like whichever way they wanted to he only sent somebody out once for something little like some of these managers be weird out here but yeah guys I mean I also remember um Experience. I remember also, oh, let me tell y'all something else about the job. So busing, right? It's when you bust the tables, you clean up the tables, you clean the floor, you clean the surrounding area. Guys, once again, do not be a dishwasher at Cracker Barrel or anywhere. Busting tables is the most embarrassing thing. Let me tell y'all why. You drop a plate, everybody's looking at you like, like you didn't shot somebody in the head and just stood there like, bro, everybody is going to stare you down. Like you accidentally just drop a little bowl and it don't even shatter, but it just drops and it's loud. People are gonna be like, oh my gosh. I remember my experience, a drop, I dropped one cup guys. The whole Cracker Bell went crazy. Like, ah, like, oh my gosh. Everybody was laughing. I'm just like, bro, this happens every day. Like. Y'all acting like this is freaking, <laughs> like, 
I don't know, like I didn't freaking like shot a gun up in the air and just poof. like, come on, bro. Yeah, guys, that's that's just like one little thing. I'm trying to think of some more stuff. Well, I can say some good things, guys. Like and that Cracker bro. Um, dang, then I just thought of a bad thing, right? That's how bad it is, guys. It was just bad and good at the same time. Still do not work there. But I remember this time, right? We had a party, somewhat of a party. We had cookies. Um, for some reason they had coffee flavored, like milk or something. It was like a Christmas type thing. And we had like they they did like we did have our little parties, our little snacks, snack days. They usually would have like snacks in the back, Capri Suns food like they were looking out for us for sure um but the bad thing i was gonna tell y'all is also that we never like i me personally i never got my raise because it was the very first day i worked there guys they worked me like a mother freaking like worked me dog like worked me like till like i didn't have a break probably until like Eight hours later, like, guys, I'm telling you, do not work at Cracker Barrel, man. Do not work at Cracker Barrel. Please don't do it to yourself. I, I mean, it, honestly, I can't. Nah, let me not speak for everybody. If you like the dish pit, if you like to clean up after people didn't freaking not eating all the food off their plate. They done love chocolate syrup all over the plate. Probably a kid. Crayons rubbed all over the plate. Like, if you like that, do you. By all means, it's not for everybody, but it is for some people, I guess. But, yeah, guys, other than that, man, just, this is just my experience with working at Cracker Barrel as a dishwasher. I hope you guys like this video. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to edit really nothing out. Um... Anything else I gotta see? Oh, man, this ain't the end of the video. I got something else to say, guys. As far as like co workers, right? There was this one girl who I absolutely did not like, bro. She was so slow with work, like, bro, she washed dishes like a sloth man also this other dude named steve i gotta talk about steve steve i'm sorry if you see this bro you were too slow i'm sorry you were absolutely too slow y'all like literally y'all wash dishes like how y'all freaking probably put on y'all drawers like slow bro like super slow like i understand that you know you're going at your own pace but Bro, never again, bro. Never again will I put myself through that hell. Like, with y'all, y'all made the job, just letting y'all know, 50 times harder than what it was. Y'all should just let me get dish pit. I would've took care of all the dishes. Y'all could've just bust tables, bring the tables to, cause since y'all wanna be so slow, y'all go out there and clean the tables while I catch up on these freaking dishes. So, man, I'm telling y'all, man, it was, it was rough. It was rough. I thought my dad was here, but it was rough, guys. It was rough. Um, another thing I want to talk about is also, um, as far as pay, they pay really good. The one I was working at, they pay like nine ninety an hour, so it was really good. Um, I actually enjoyed the pay very well. Um, I would get. I would love. I was loving. When I would work like 10 hours, uh, I would work like 10 hour weekends and still get like good money. So yeah, it was it was good. Like, and good money to me guys is like at least over 80 something dollars. So I was, I was making that, I was making that and more. So a weekly and they paid weekly. So it was pretty good. Um, can't, can't really say, can't really say too much more other than um, I enjoyed it 
it sucked a lot more than I enjoyed it, but it, I enjoyed it for real, guys. And I just hope that, you know, whoever's watching this, just, just don't get the dish pit, all right? Just be a server or something. That's all I got to say, guys. Um, Y'all make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.